Every Raksha Bandhan, I would uh, draw a sibling. <laughs> to show it to my parents. And I'd be like, you guys couldn't do it one more time. Tell you a bit about myself. I am an only child. Anyone here an only child? Clap if you're an only child. Oh, quite a few people with sensible parents. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you know, we're a small group. We gotta stick up for each other. I'm an only child. I like being an only child until I was 12. Because when I was 12, I was playing cricket in my colony. And I got into a fight with a friend. He was also 12. But this guy was so good at fighting compared to me. I was like, where did he learn these moves? And I don't know. It feels like he has practiced on another human. You know? Like I had only theory knowledge. I had taken one karate class where you punch the air. You can't use that in real fights. By the time you pull your hands back, already five punches have landed. <laughs> it was embarrassing. It was like a video game where he knew all the buttons. He was hitting like five punch combinations. And my controller was not connected. I was just like, which button is for punch? I don't know. I seem to have switched it off. <laughs> this is how one sided it was. I swear to you, at one point in the fight, this guy started hitting with his head. That's when a fight is over. Like, he's so confident. The thing you are supposed to protect. <laughs> <laughs> He's using as a weapon. That's when you, you know, your role in this fight is victim. He was damn, he was so good. I was getting hurt and impressed at the same time. It's like, oh, nice. And when five of my friends were just watching for 10 minutes, they watched the fight. And then when they came to pull us apart, all five of them pulled him back. Not one of them pulled me. I was like, can one of you pretend I was in the... F Come this side. <laughs> of course, eventually I realized why he's good at fighting. He has an older brother, right? Of course he knew how to fight. Every day after we played cricket, he went home. And there was a bigger version of him waiting. <laughs> a bigger, angrier version. Who hated him. Because he knew one day they'll be fighting over property. So he was settling it early, you know. Every day he fought, like siblings fight. Why? It's nine o'clock, time to fight. Before dinner, one quick fight, you know. That day I realized he, my friend used me as warm-up for his real fight <laughs> later at night. How will I learn? Dude? I'm an only child. I used to play cricket. Then I went home and I used to draw. <laughs> Drawing I was doing while this guy's learning combat. I'm draw maybe I would draw people fighting sometimes. <laughs> Even in that drawing, I was losing. <laughs> See, if 12-year-olds settle fights by drawing, if they chose to, I would have destroyed him. <laughs> Three years colony champion I was. I was so good at drawing, I retired at 12. <laughs> I was like, I'm done with this profession. You guys don't seem to be impressed or believe me. I swear to you, if I draw now, you'll be like, you draw like a 12-year-old. <laughs> Yeah. It's because I retired. <laughs> Every Raksha Bandhan, I would uh, draw a sibling. Go show it to my parents. And I'd be like, you guys couldn't do it one more time. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> also, a uh, little more about me. I have studied in seven schools in my life. Seven schools. And my dad was not in the army also. <laughs> huh? He just wanted people to think he was in the army. <laughs> Kept changing my school. Classmates are thinking new posting for colonel. He's not colonel, he's in sales. <laughs> he's an engineer. They are thinking Colonel Chakrabarti. He's in general electric. Do you know how stupid you feel as a kid when you go to a new school for no reason? <laughs> when your parents are like, from today, not this building, this building. <laughs> like, my friends are in that building. They're like, this is a better building. You go to the new school, kids ask you, which city are you coming from? 
I'm like this one. <laughs> Same city as you. <laughs> fifth school in this city, fifth. Did you know there are five schools in this city? <laughs> I came from, come here, I came from that school over there, can you see? Can you see my friends in the window, huh? They're like, hey bro, wrong building, can you see? It's like my parents used me as an experiment, you know? They were like, yeah, these two years he has settled well. Made some friends also, apparently. Let's see if he can do it again. <laughs> seven times they tested me, seven times. Now they're asking me, why aren't you settling down? I'm like, you tell me. <laughs> can you tell me? <laughs> I don't want to go through that again in marriage. You know what I'm saying? After two years, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't want to wake up one day next to my new wife, <laughs> looking at my old wife from the window. <laughs> right? And she's like, hey bro, wrong building. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, call me bro from now. <laughs> Mummy sent me to new building. <laughs> you have been promoted to sister. I don't know why it's a promotion. I've not figured out this company. <laughs> um, seven schools I studied. The way I used to try to impress people when I was in school was I was a quizzer. I used to take part in inter-school quizzes. Uh, and I thought that was cool. Then I grew up and found out nobody respects you for general knowledge. <laughs> you know this as adults. As you get older and older, people hate you for knowing things. I've been told things like, why do you, why do you know that? Grow up. <laughs> so now I've deleted my general knowledge. I don't have it. I want to fit in. I have no general knowledge. But I still have the competitiveness of a quizzer without the knowledge. It's a very bad combination. Now I'm always angry because I don't know answers. I was on the street. One guy asked me, boss, sir, do you know how to get to Prakash Plaza? I didn't know. Normal people just say I don't know, right? I, but I was like, uh, can you give me a hint? <laughs> Make it a five pointer, I'll attempt. <laughs> he saw on my face, I don't know, he started leaving. I'm like, wait, 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 this is not over, come. You can't embarrass me in public and you will walk away. Huh? I decide when this ends. You said hi, I'll say bye. Before you go, do you know? <laughs> Try this, someone asks directions you don't know, don't leave them, ask one question back. No one's ready for that shit. Make sure it's a tough one. I'm like, do you know who's the fourth prime minister of India? He's like, what? <laughs> no, I, I, dude, I'm in a hurry, I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, don't act like you're better than me then. <laughs> can see it in your eyes, huh? Judging me. Now go. Go in any direction. I don't care. Go towards that light. That's where Prakash Plaza will be probably. <laughs> Dude, I read recently an article. The headline was, Sitting is the new smoking. <laughs> They're trying to say sitting for long hours is bad for health. But you can't... F Frame it like that. <laughs> Sitting is the new smoking. I read that, I'm like, it's over for me. <laughs> Dude, it's over. I'm a, I'm a chain sitter. <laughs> I think over 100 sits a day at this point. And I'm not cutting down. It's too late. When I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is I sit. I can't function without sitting. I can't use the bathroom also properly. <laughs> And I've been doing it from when I was one years old. So even the rest of my life, if I stand, I don't have too much to go. <laughs> sitting is the new smoking. All these years, I've been sitting indoors while my friends are stepping out to smoke. I thought I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Turns out we are dying at the same rate. <laughs> Might as well have smoked then. What do you think, sir? Sitting is the new smoking. Seems a bit much, right? Too much, right? See, this is addiction. <laughs> Accept your mistake, bro. Start standing. <laughs>